I will now request Ms. Parkhi Vats, Commodity Trade Analyst, for her presentation on World Cotton Trade. Thank you, Chair, and good morning, all. I am Parkhi Vats, and today I'll be covering World Cotton Trade statistics. A quick overview of the last season. The previous season saw the global economy undergo an unusual slowdown due to pandemic-induced lockdowns, business closures, shipment and transport restrictions in a way that was never experienced before. As containment measures remained across countries, uncertainties grew, effectively halting the global economy and decreasing the global cotton exports to 9 million tons. Starting March 2021, the rollout of vaccines helped mitigate the public health crisis and assisted in global economic recovery. This recovery boosted consumer confidence and the slowdown in the spread of infections helped in revival of consumer demand for non-durable goods like clothing and textiles. Eventually, cotton demand revived, backlogs from the previous season and the fresh boost in demand picked up trade by stronger than expected margin to reach 10.6 million tons, one of its highest ever experienced levels. The world cotton exports have shown a healthy growth in the last four decades, crossing the mark of 10 million tons thrice in 2011 and 12, mostly as a result of major rebound in demand post the global financial crisis, and in the previous season, mostly as a result of demand rebound after the great lockdown. For the current season, exports are estimated to remain strong at 10.1 million tons. With respect to exports by country, while the top exporters in the 21-22 season will remain the same as in the last season, there is a slight change in their shares with respect to total world exports. While US, Brazil and India may record small fall, Australia and West Africa are expected to regain some share. For the current season, it is estimated that United States will be the largest cotton exporter followed by Brazil, West Africa region, India, Australia, and EU, altogether accounting for 86% of total world exports. Within EU, the exports in 2020-2021 were led by Greece, followed by Spain, and we expect the same pattern for the current season. With respect to exports from West Africa, West African exports have grown consistently in the last decade. At 596,000 tons in 2011 and 12, it reached to 1.18 million tons in the last season. It is estimated that West Africa will have 37% higher production and 15% higher exports at 1.36 million tons in 21-22 season, reaching its highest ever experienced level. Many West African countries like Mali, Burkina Faso, Cordoba, and Bena are estimated to export higher levels of cotton in the current season compared to the previous season. With respect to world imports, global consumption in 2019-20 fell by 13%, bringing down the imports by 6% to reach 8.7 million tons. This was mainly due to near total stoppage of cotton spinning and textile manufacturing in March-April of 2020. Signs of recovery in consumption started showing in the first quarter of 2021. Eventually, consumption revived and this also aided imports, reviving it by 16% to reach 10 million tons by the end of the season. For the current season as well, imports are expected to remain strong at 10.1 million tons. With respect to imports by country, the major important countries in current season will be the same as in the last season. In 21-22, imports will be led by China with approximately 2.5 million tons, followed by Bangladesh, Vietnam, Pakistan, and Turkey, together accounting for 80% of total world imports. While factory operations have revived, Concerns about the spread of COVID-19's new variants and rising cases still pose a threat to the recovering cotton sector. Amongst many variables that impact trade, three major ones that have the potential to impact trade in the current season are the trade policies and trade tensions between countries, the progress of the cotton crop, and the effects of the ongoing pandemic and the supply chain disruptions. 
with respect to trade policies and tensions there are some trade partnerships which define the past season and may have an impact in the current season partnership between brazil and china Brazil became the major beneficiary of tariff escalations between US and China and was able to increase exports to China sharply in the season of 2018, 19 and 1920. In the next season, the US China trade deal came into force. It was likely that it may have an effect on China's imports from Brazil. However, in the last season of 2020-2021, Brazil exported around 721,000 tons of cotton linen to China, maintaining its share of around 30% in its total exports. To deepen their ties, China National Cotton Exchange and the Brazilian Association of Cotton Producers signed a formal MOU in the June of 2021. Partnership between Australia and China. China was Australia's largest export destinations in the 2018-19 and 1920 season. These exports to China fell by more than 60% in the last season. Although no tariff restrictions were put against Australian cotton, it could be as a consequence of changing market and political sentiments. Partnership between US and China. The US China phase one economic and trade agreement that covers trade in cotton came into force in 2020 and changed the trade baskets of both these countries the same is up for renewal in december 2021 also there are import restrictions in place on the cotton products from china xinjiang region imposed by the us custom and border protection over raw fibers apparel and textiles made in that region these together will determine the trade between china and us in the current season partnership between india and egypt although india egypt bilateral trade agreement has been in operation since march 1978 and is based on most favored nation clause last season saw india individually accounting for more than 60% of egypt's total exports partnership between india and pakistan there was no cotton trade recorded between india and pakistan in the last season in the light of pakistan's decision to suspend bilateral trade with india in august 2019 earlier that year india had also applied a 200% tariff on pakistan's imports after revoking its mfm step status apart from this and against all countries in february 2021 india had also imposed a 10% duty on cotton imports as a move to support cotton farmers partnership between turkey and usa in the april of 2021 the government of turkey removed the 3% anti dumping duty on the us cotton exports which was imposed back in 2016 for a period of 5 years and this may create a shift in the trade baskets of both these countries in the current season these are some of the many many trade partnerships that will play a leading role in the current season second is the progress of cotton crop The healthy trade numbers in the last season were aided heavily by the stocks and production. After world trade of raw cotton fell less than consumption in 2019-20, the world was left with 22 million tons of stock, highest in the last 5 seasons. The com- this combined with 24 million tons of production brought up the world supply of cotton at 46.5 million tons for the 2020-2021 season. As the overall economy recovered, the world exports also revived stronger than expected, increasing by 15% to reach 10.6 million tons, one of its highest levels ever experienced. Similarly, for the current season, with 20 million tons of stocks and an estimated production of 25.7 million tons, the world supply is currently estimated to be at 45.7 million tons, estimating the world trade to remain strong at 10.1 million tons. The third variable that may impact trade in the current season is the ongoing pandemic and supply chain disruptions. Currently, on the demand side, economies are experiencing a revival in consumption with the approaching holiday season, higher vaccinations and opening of activities. At the same time, markets are experiencing supply side disruptions with growing infections in cotton consuming and textile supplying countries. shipping crisis backlogs on ports and labor shortages 
The shortages of labor and shipments are forcing the textile supplying countries to incur air freight to meet order deadlines. Not budgeted in air freights, high ocean freights, planned power blackouts in certain areas, high raw cotton prices are altogether putting an upward pressure on the input cost for textiles. Even if the consignment reached the ports, shortages of port workers and truck and lorry drivers had affected inland transport in UK, US and Europe, causing further delays. While the governments are trying to resolve these issues, it is expected that some of these issues may last way into the current season. That was all from me today. Thank you.